listening to a flock of what sounds like some rather joyous purple martin birds here, but bird watchers and conservationists have concerns about a bleak future for the purple martin. So this week, Nature Canada and its partners launched the Purple Martin Project. It involves catching the birds and sending them on a backpack expedition. Sarah Kirkpatrick-Wall is a conservation coordinator at Nature Canada, and she's here to tell us more. Hello there. Hi, thanks so much for having me today. And when I say backpacks, I mean the backpacks actually go on the birds. They do, yes. Can you describe what these backpacks look like? Um, We call them backpacks, but that's, of course, not at all what they are. They're a very tiny geolocator, uh, about the size of the tip of your thumb. So quite small, quite light. It's a device that has a solar-sensitive cell on it um, connected to a clock, and it's attached to their back with cords, so they wear it the same way that we would wear a backpack. Is it a tricky thing to get on the bird? It is because... um, it's it's tricky whenever you do anything with animals. They're not particularly <laughs> compliant. <laughs> they don't but, like dressing up. No. But it's certainly not that difficult. It, it, we can do it quite quickly. Is is are the, the this may sound like a silly question, but is the bird conscious while you're trying oh, to yes, get the of bird course. on? Yes, okay, yes, it's, it's definitely. Not. Yeah, we only have them for a very short amount of time. We don't we don't have to do anything as serious as as giving them sleeping drugs or anything like that. <laughs> okay, so now the, once you get it on the bird, the bird takes off, and what is what all is it tracking? The, the, the it's backpack, tracking I mean. where they go. So mm-hmm. it has a solar cell on it, and what it does, um, which is connected to a clock set at Greenwich Mean Time. So this solar cell will um, measure the sunrise and the sunset, which is called the photo period. And from that, it will be able to determine where on the planet the bird is. <laughs> so we know that the birds leave here, and they go on a very, very long journey, but we don't know how they get there, and we don't know particularly how they're using the landscape or um, or particularly where they end up. Where do Ottawa's birds end up? Um, they go to Brazil. Brazil is a very large country. Hmm. So what section of it are they using? And that's what we're trying to find out. Yeah, more people going, more more people traveling to Brazil right now. What, <laughs> what, what, what is the concern, though, about the Purple Martin population? Purple Martins are a really special group of something called aerial insectivores. Um, these acrobats catch insects while flying. And across the board, they're in a huge decline, um, which we're very, very concerned about. And many people love the Purple Martins, so they're concerned mm-hmm. about it, too. Um, but th- that role, can you expand on that a little bit when, in terms of the, that role uh, as an insectivore? Well, that's something that I particularly love. They control insect populations, and I, I mean, that's something that we all want more of. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's significant. Are we concerned, though, about purple martins dying off or purple martins yes, not being around? Yes, yeah. definitely. We're, we're definitely concerned about them, uh, their population getting so low that they would, they would be listed as an endangered species. So uh, you, you started this at Nepean Sailing Club. Uh, to, you were outfitting the birds earlier this week. Why there? Well, we're located in Ottawa, so it was a a very easy place to start. Um, At the, I guess, something that would make more sense is why we use Purple Martins, maybe. Um, So the Nepean Sailing Club is nearby. It's convenient. Um, There's a great group of people there. There's a great group of people in Ottawa that we can work with, the Innis Point Bird Observatory, and um, and the Nepean Sailing Club, who's been managing the Purple Martin colony for 15 years now. Right. I Um, I think this is the part that some people may not know, right, is the the connection between Purple Martin and the Nepean Sailing Club. So the Purple Martins don't nest like many birds that we think of. Um, They nest in human-made structures. They look like normal birdhouses, but their apartment complexes Mm -hmm. Um, so they rely on these buildings the the condos so to speak that are set up at at Nepean Sailing Club so why do they do that actually Um, why do they rely on those yeah I'm not sure that transition from native nesting areas to these uh, these man-milled structures is, is a little bit fuzzy. We're not really mm. sure how that happened. We know that they used to nest, and, and west of the Rockies, they still do in cavities. Um, so they're a secondary cavity nester, so they'll nest in a cavity that's already been built, like in the side of a tree where a woodpecker makes a hole. Or um, in Arizona, they actually have been found to live in holes in cacti, huh. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So... Once you you start tracing the path and understanding where they go, what use is that information to, to Nature Canada as, as uh, the, the research project continues? Well, we know that they are declining, but the big mystery is why are they declining? We mm-hmm. have a lot of theories, but we don't. We don't know which one is right. Can you run me through some of the theories? Well, some of the there are tons of theories, and maybe they're all important. Maybe none of them are. Um, They have a huge migratory journey, so along that way, they face 
lots of threats. Um, they do rely on insects for their food, so things like insecticides could be a huge problem. Hmm. Um, they could be depleting the insect population. They could be poisoning the birds themselves. Um, development projects which reduce their habitat, available habitat, um, could be a huge problem, things like that. So I'm guessing that the path or the, the, the journey of the birds is just the first step, right? Because I guess then you have to yes. be going out to said area where the bird's journey stopped to understand what happened there to make that happen. Yeah, so if we figure out where exactly they're going, we can have a much better idea of, of what threats they're encountering on their way. Um, and then we can make plans to to rectify that, to try to save the purple martin. So this is happening in, in more places than just Ottawa. Your colleagues today are where? They're in the Kingston Island there, um, area. They're on Wolf Island today, and they'll be traveling to Amherst Island later this week as well. And big purple martin populations there too? Yes. Okay, so the, then the, the... Actually, how many birds are likely to be outfitted when by the end of the project? You know, I'm not sure exactly. I know that uh, earlier this week at the Nipanian Sailing Club, they... Lo- they outfitted 25 with geolocators okay. and four with GPSs. Huh. So I believe it's about the same number as at the other two locations. So at what point does the information come back? What's the ne- at what what is sort of the next check-in point for uh, finding out what happens to the birds? Well, the one of the reasons like I said that the purple martin is so useful is that they do nest in these apartment complexes and they do come back to the same building year after year. So it's very easy for us to capture them and it, it's very easy for us to recapture them. So in a year we'll collect the geolocators again and um we'll It'll tell the story of where they've been. No concern about those geolocators lasting the full year? No, they'll last the full year. <laughs> okay, yeah. all And right. we'll be able to uh, recover them because we, we know that the birds will come back to the same location. Sarah, thanks very much for this. Thanks so much for having me on. That's Sarah Kirkpatrick Wall, Conservation Coordinator at Nature Canada. Now, we posted a link on our website for more information about the Purple Martin Project. You can go to cbc.ca slash all in a day.